Hi guys, welcome back to Bum Studios. Today I am sharing something I have been working on recently. This will not be a full tutorial. I think I can explain the concept enough that you will be able to create this yourself. If you would like, what we are making an inexpensive audio interface. And we will also be creating a free recording studio. If you only want to make an inexpensive USB audio interface. All you need is an inexpensive USB microphone with an analog to digital converter on it. You will be able to find them in most USB microphones like Disney U once. Or desktop stick boom microphones used in this tutorial. I got this idea from Heavy Metal. ATC channel on YouTube link in description. He made an interface box with a tin box. Well I basically just wired a quarter inch guitar jack to the USB microphone and connected it to the output of a guitar pedal tuner. And then you can connect your guitar directly to the pedal. You could just wire a long enough guitar cable and go directly to the guitar if you do not have a guitar pedal. I feel it is better to make an interface box or go to a pedal because you will have an anchor point to connect the guitar instead of a heavy wire hanging out of your USB port. To make this simply cut off the microphone part of the USB microphone and cut a portion of a guitar cable off an old guitar cord. If you do not have patience to wait on a quarter inch connector to arrive from Amazon, the connection is very simple. You have an inner strand of wire and outer shield of wire. The microphone wire is much smaller and hard to work with than the guitar cable. I recommend using soldering clamps to make this connection or an extra set of hands. I did not have either, but was still able to manage to solder it. After I used heat shrink over the inner wire and then more over the outer shield connection. It is important to keep them separated from touching. You could also use electrical tape. That is pretty much it for the inexpensive USB audio interface. The secret is finding a USB wire microphone with the analog to digital chip on it. Now that you have your audio interface made, you can use it with any computer. Or you can follow along and see what I did to create this recording studio. I had an old Mac Mini from around 2013 to 2014. The computer still runs good, but was basically useless because of its age Apple no longer supports it. Which means you cannot even download from the Apple Store anymore, sad. After doing some research, I stumbled onto a Linux operation system called Ubuntu Studio. I love playing around with guitars and pedals and chasing tone. Although I am not good at playing, I enjoy making. What is great about the Linux distribution on Ubuntu Studio is it has everything you need already installed from guitar amp sims to OBS screen recording. Just go to Ubuntu Studio and download the latest version, which is 2023 beta. You will need to install it on a USB thumb drive. Operation system software files such as Windows or in our case Ubuntu Studio are ISO images. In order to make the ISO image bootable from the flash drive, to install it on a computer you will need a software such as Raspberry Pi Imager or Bolina Etcher to flash the thumb drive. After flashing your thumb drive you need to Google how to make your computer boot from thumb drive. I was using an old Mac Mini so for me I just hold down the Alt or Option button to boot from thumb drive. Then you just open the thumb drive and install which will take a while. Keep in mind this whole process will wipe all data from your computer. So you need to know what you are doing or have an old computer to play around with. Or you can get a refurbished computer. Ask a friend for their old one once they upgrade. Or even use an inexpensive computer like a Raspberry Pi. I have a Raspberry Pi computer that I am currently working on converting to. The process is the same. Except the Raspberry Pi uses ARM architecture instead of x86, so you must install the Ubuntu software for ARM architecture first. And then once you have it installed, then you simply download the Ubuntu Studio software to upgrade it. The Studio upgrade gives you the guitar sim apps and apps for keyboard or drums act. It also has recording software like OBS screen recording which was used for this portion. Full disclosure the guitar parts that suck are me. And the good parts are a friend who is really good. Although I love guitar, I am more of a tinkerer. Installing pickups, painting them, and just playing around. This Ubuntu Studio 2023 beta is amazing. 
It even has art apps like Blender and GIMP, Krita, Darktable, Inkscape. Heck, they really knocked it out of the park with this software. If you install a version of Ubuntu first and then upgrade it, it looks even better almost like Apple OS. I'll leave you with a quick look at it installed on Raspberry Pi. Computer, thanks for watching. <laughs>